Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to tie the TG Redneck. It's the sixth fly in the book and it's called the TG Redneck because this one was designed by a good friend of mine called Tom Gott. He's a great fly tie, great angler and his flies are really, really effective. So let me show you how to tie it. So again, we're tying this on a size 12 chick hook and we've got a silver bead. You could also use copper, gold, whatever you fancy. So we just secured that bead in there and trim off the excess. And then we're going to tie in the tail. Again, we're using pheasant tail for this fly. So in order to get as good a taper as possible, you want to tie in all your materials towards the bead end of the fly. So we've tied our tails in there. Then we're going to get our pheasant tail three fibers as per usual and we're going to tie those in at the tips then we're going to grab some copper wire and we're going to tie that in too this is a really great trout pattern and good for grailing too and we use it a lot on the on the rivers in north yorkshire so bring all those materials together and tie them in down to where the hook starts to bend. And then we're going to build up some taper in the body with the thread. Not much. You don't need too much of a taper on this fly. Just a bit of one. Nice and even carrot shaped taper. So We've got the taper now. We're going to grab the pheasant tail and start winding it up in touching turns. You can see there's a bit of a taper in that body, but it's not a huge amount. Tie in the pheasant tail, make sure it's nice and secure before you snip it off. Then secure it in with your copper wire and tie that in. The copper wire gives the fly some segmentation but it also secures in the pheasant tail which is quite a brittle material. So then we're going to put in a CDC hackle with my lazy CDC technique. So we're snipping off the tip putting the stem of the feather into the hole from the slotted bead, securing the feather in, and gonna put a couple of turns in. And we're gonna tie it back and secure it. Let's snip off the feather, pull all the fibers back, and just put a couple of turns there. Then we're gonna get our trusty orange floss, and we're going to tie that in. And what I did there was just looped it under the thread and then secured it in. Then we're going to create a neck just by winding the floss round. Maybe six, six times, five or six times, and then securing it in. And whip finish. So there's the TG Redneck. It's a really, really effective fly designed initially, or at least it was introduced to me by my good friend Tom Gott. So there it is. If you like this fly, do share it. And uh, any questions, ask in the comments. Thanks very much.